Oh. So when I made a video on the Master's timeline, I didn't think that I'd then be having to examine the Doctors with the same detail so soon. Alright, so this video is pretty much a speculation video on the reveal of the new incarnation of the Doctor, presented in Season 12 of Doctor Who, and I would very much like to get to the to-ruth of the situation. I'm not sorry. Anyway, so we have a mystery on our hands. Two Doctors meet, but each with no knowledge of the other, so something is awry, and I have read a number of theories as to how and who this Ruth incarnation is. First off, let me just say that Joe Martin did a wonderful job in portraying a Doctor, and this was aided so very well with the look, love the specs by the way, and the interior of the TARDIS. Her attitude was very Doctor, radiating that authoritative, clever presence with a slightly hard edge wrapped in a softer tone that we've seen before in prior regenerations. But that's the issue. Prior regenerations. We've seen the Doctor's lives all 13 of his original cycle, but this Ruth character can't fit in them, unless there's some seriously ad hoc retconning going on. Sure, there's the speculated gap between the second and third Doctor, but even if that was where Ruth fits, the number of regenerations can't allow for another life. Secondly, Clara Oswald fell into the Doctor's timeline and never saw any Ruth even though she exposed the long-buried War Doctor, another previously unknown form. Yet, the Doctor's TARDIS. It was a police box, which it can only be if it adopted the disguise from visiting I.M. Foreman's yard in 1963 before breaking, which Hartnell's first Doctor did in the very first episode all those years ago. Then again, this Doctor does not recognise the sonic screwdriver, a tool in the Doctor's arsenal since the second, which suggests she's both post-Hartnell, but pre-Troughton. Well, that's a nope. So, just like the Doctor, it seems that we're being fed contradictory information. Chibnall hasn't offered much, but he has seen fit to rule out the notion of a fake or parallel dimension Doctor of some sort. That's okay, there's only one Gallifrey and Time Lord Society, as far as we know, so I wasn't hedging my bets on that. But what about an alternate history? Maybe? Kind of? In the oldest and admittedly unreliable narrations of the Time Lord's Dark Times, it was said that the Time Lords established order in the universe by mastering time travel and anchoring Gallifrey in its own temporal state. From their perch, they could oversee all of space and time and lord over it. In some pretty deep canon sources, this was described as the Web of Time, and I've mentioned it in my prior video on Time Lord history. Suffice to say, this might not be the true history of the Time Lords, but dogma and conspiracy to cover up a much messier origin. What is that origin? Not a clue, I'm trying to complete a jigsaw without all the pieces. But. Before they assumed this mantle and managed to effectively bring the universe under their purview, things were different, destinies were proceeding down different paths, and one could even argue more natural ones. The 13th Doctor has already established that the Gallifreyans she encountered are from her relative past. But what if they're from her alternative past? I mean, Ruth could just be a natural incarnation of the Doctor from an era before the Time Lords began to meddle but I'm getting ahead of myself. The Time Lords, perhaps feeling ashamed by some event tied to their very origin, buried the truth of their ascendance and founding by rewriting history. Perhaps even literally altering events as opposed to simply covering them up. After all, they are time travellers and could do that. If it's more of a mundane cover-up where they just expunged records and wiped memories, then the Founding Fathers could have reset the Doctor's regeneration cycle, along with many others, and started over with a clean slate, spouting stories about how Gallifreyans conquered time. This would make Ruth a super early version of the Doctor from a buried age of Gallifrey, perhaps even a whole new cycle of regenerations that were never seen, making Hartnell not the first Doctor at all. Not sure I like that idea. But, as the Time Lords can literally rewrite history, Let's add a sci-fi addition to this conspiracy. What if they not only buried records of this age, but attempted to erase it from existence? They do some timey-wimey finagling, 
and suddenly the Doctor is not Ruth anymore, but a grouchy man who still steals the TARDIS and runs away. Well, then the problem becomes, how can Ruth be here now? Sure, she's not from a parallel universe, but effectively some original timeline that should have been overwritten. Well, the Doctor, number 13 that is, is seemingly concerned with how time is swirling around her, and perhaps that unease is warranted. It could be that due to some approaching threat, the original reality, the as it should have been, history, is resurfacing around the Doctor and bringing with it the very original versions of the Doctor. This would make Ruth a genuine Doctor, but one that was erased from existence until recently, explaining why our Whittaker Doctor has no memory of her even though they are the same person, just from different states of the universe. This could also be why they never met, interacted, or were ever mentioned by any other Time Lord ever, and why the Ruth Doctor still has a police box TARDIS. She was still fated to visit 1963 era in her original timeline too. This is a lot more convoluted than just saying, oh no, there were 13 other Doctors before this one who then had her memory wiped and was regenerated into William Hartnell. But that approach leaves a number of issues that would require equally convoluted explanations anyway. No other incarnation of the Doctor has ever come across any of these previous lives, or any Time Lord at all for that matter and Ruth's TARDIS just also happens to be a police box. Saying the Time Lords literally rewrote the universe to their advantage both makes nods to the classic lore, ties into the arrogance of the species, and gives added weight to the phrase, everything you think you know is a lie. Literally, reality is wrong from a certain point of view, a facade existence enforced by the Time Lords just to mask some sin in their past. That might be enough justification for the Master to snap and raise Gallifrey. Imagine learning that your entire existence is only because someone tampered with history. What would your life have been like if it had been allowed to run its natural course? What tragedies could have been avoided? It's not too much of a stretch to assume that a revelation like that would push someone like the Master over the edge again. This is the outcome I'm hoping for as it draws on the deep lore of Gallifrey while at the same time getting to retell it however they like, and it maintains the legacy of the actors that came before and their place in the Doctor's history. It also supports these long established theories and illusions to the Doctor having had former lives prior to the first, despite this contradicting later canon. Maybe he or she did. They were just wiped from existence. It also bears similarities to the tales of the mysterious Other, the Time Lord who existed in the founding times, who helped Rassilon and Omega build the Time Lords as they are, and was ultimately reincarnated as the Doctor, although this is also unlikely, as in these stories, the Other threw themselves into the genetic looms of Gallifrey and was eventually reconstituted into a new individual, the Doctor. The Other, although compromised of the same genetics as the Doctor, was effectively their own separate entity and would likely register as such with a scan. Ruth is very much a Doctor. But Doctor Who? Okay, that one I'm sorry for. So here we are, my slightly convoluted theory as to who Ruth is in the Doctor's past. She's not from a parallel universe, the Doctor's future, nor a crammed in regeneration, but an overwritten history an original version of the Doctor, and all part of some elaborate Time Lord cover-up. If it turns out to be the more mundane explanation that she's just one of an early set of regenerations we never knew of, I'm going to be disappointed. They'd have missed an opportunity to have the Time Lords abuse their powers, always a classic, retell old lore with a twist, and honestly I'd feel a little jilted that the first Doctor wasn't the first and so on. This, of course, also means that any Doctor we've ever followed is effectively the product of an altered history, calling the Doctor's identity into question, but it also wouldn't require the renumbering of all the Doctors. Honestly, either way, I'd like to see more of the Ruth Doctor. She was awesome. Thanks for watching this rambly speculation video on the questions raised by the Fugitive of the Jadoon. I've been Rick, and remember, the Ruth is out there. Uh, what am I doing with my life?